Trader Joe's. I love coming to this place. They have great organic food at rock bottom prices. Heck, that's where I went to go get stuff for last week's episode. Oh, and uh, you can't tell because of the mask, but trust me, I'm smiling like a schoolgirl. But let's be honest, TJ's doesn't always hit it out of the park every time. And no, I'm not talking about their racist package names. For example, Trader Joe's chocolate chip cookie dunkers. Seriously, what the hell are these? They taste like nutty almond farts covered in chocolate. Or what the FDA considers to be chocolate. With my disappointment in Mr. Joe, whoever he is, I took it upon myself to make a better version. And that's what I did. First things first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Is the Chinese government keeping you in a concentration camp against your will? The number you're looking for is... Alright, let's begin working on the cookie dough. In a stand mixer, I have two sticks or one cup of unsalted butter. Oh, and uh, if you cut them up like that, they'll come to room temperature quicker. To that, we'll add one and a quarter cups of white sugar, and a quarter cup of brown sugar. And this is where a stand mixer really comes in handy, because we're gonna cream the mixture on high until it's nice and fluffy. You might have to scrape down the side of the bowl, that's fine. Okay, resume on high speed. All right, that's looking nice and fluffy. Scrape down the sides of the bowl one more time. All right, once you do that, add in two eggs. Anyway, with the eggs fully incorporated, let's add in our final wet ingredients. One teaspoon of vanilla. And half a teaspoon of almond extract. Mix on low. All right, now let's add in our dry ingredients. Oh, I should probably tell you what's in the dry ingredients. Well, there's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And finally, mix everything together with a big spoon because my whisk was in the dishwasher when I filmed this. Now, we're not gonna simply dump this whole thing into the mixture. If we do, the whole kitchen is gonna look like Wall Street circa 1987. Instead, we're just gonna do it in batches. So let's add one batch to the mixture. Mix on low. Add in the next batch. And let's add in the rest. Give the bowl one final scrape down. Add a cup and a half of mini chocolate chips. All right, with our cookie dough form, let's get to forming. So grab a disher that's about nah, three tablespoons in size. Scoop up some cookie dough, place it in your hand, and just roll it into a log like so. Then plop our cookie turd onto a parchment lined baking sheet. All right, let's continue to crap out these cookie turds. Oh, and uh, make sure you give them at least an inch of space. Oh, you might have noticed this big lip of parchment paper sticking out from the pan. If you've seen me make cookies before, you know what it is. If not, stay tuned. Stick our cookie turds into our 350 degree oven. And let them bake for 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, take our cookies out of the oven. And here's the importance of the sheet of 
paper, grab it, and slide our cookies onto some cooling racks. Let's do it one more time. Grab the sheet of paper and boom. Now, let our cookies cool. Let's get to the real magical part, dipping them in chocolate. Melt some chocolate and put it in a large to medium sized container. Melt about two standard bags worth of chocolate chips. Trust me, this uses a lot more chocolate than you think it does. So, simply take our cookies, dip the bottom, and put them back on the parchment. It's going to get a bit messy, but that's just simply the price you pay. Okay, once the bottoms are all coated with chocolate, stick it in the fridge so it can solidify quicker. Well, that is if I can find some room, that is. Once the chocolate solidifies, dig right in. Not me though, I'm just going to take some pictures of the thumbnail and just call it a night. You have no idea how many interruptions happened today while filming. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh uh, yeah, I'm supposed to do a funny joke here. Um, beep beep poo poo. Okay, there's your joke. <laughs>